Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I was literally complaining in one of my last videos about how I can't catch the sun at all and then I've stupidly gone and burnt myself and I'm in a lot of pain right now. Burn all of my shoulders and my chest and it's very painful. I am happy being pale forever because I just, I can't sit out in the sun. So I'm going to do a makeup look today trying out the new Anastasia Beverly Hills electric cake liners. These are part of the Norvina collection. I did a video testing out the palette, that was my last video so I'll leave it linked down below. I thought we'd just do a separate little video trying these. I went for this purple, orange and white trio. I just thought I'd get a little bit more wear out of this one than I would the other one. I've never actually tried anything like this before so I'm quite excited to see what they are going to be like. Usually if I do any kind of liner look I just use like my P. Louise coloured bases and they work really well. So I really want to see what this is going to be like. I have dipped into this purple one. I didn't try it properly I just wanted to like kind of swatch it a little bit and it did look really nice but I've not actually tested them properly on my eyes yet so I am a little bit excited. See, I'm gonna do a makeup look today and I'm gonna try this out for the first time. I'm just gonna prime my eyes with my P. Louise base. I feel like I should be using the Narvina Volume 4 palette for this video but I kind of want to do like an orange and purple look to go with these liners and obviously the Volume 4 palette is very like pink based so I'm actually going to use a different palette today. I'm going to use one of my absolute favourite palettes ever, it's the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. I'm going to try and go quite bright and colourful and creative. I am going to speed through the eyeshadow a little bit just because I want to hurry up and get to the liners. So yeah I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to do like a purpley orange kind of makeup clock. So this is the kind of thing I'm going for with the shadows. I'm not completely finished with it. I am going to go back in with all of them just to try and build it up a little bit. But this is the kind of style I'm going for. I am loving how these colours look at the minute. So now for the exciting part, I'm going to go in with the liners. I'm going to do something a little bit inspired by this image here from Lord China on Instagram. It's just like a very graphic cut crease kind of liner and I think it looks really nice. So I want to do something inspired by this. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is start off with the purple then go into the white and then go into the orange so it's like opposite colours from the shadows. I'm going to use this little liner brush from P. Louise. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of my Primark primer water because you need to go in with a wet brush. So wish me luck this could go very wrong. <laughs> going underneath with shadows just to neaten it up a little bit and make sure I've got like a nice straight line underneath.
don't know how much of that you'll have actually seen because I feel like I was so close to the mirror the whole time. <laughs> I am actually so happy with how this has gone. But obviously not completely equal but that was never going to happen anyway. I actually think I've managed to get them looking quite nice. I think the orange is my favourite. It's proper neon orange. It's so bright and I just love it. But yeah I actually do quite like these. I think I found them a little bit difficult to work with just because I've never used anything like this before. I think once I've like used them a few times I'll get like a little bit better at it. I don't really have anything bad to say about them. I feel like they actually have worked really well. I had to go over so many times to get it looking right and it's not gone like clumpy or cracked or anything. So you can build them up and it's not going to go funny. I also didn't do the neatest job so I had to try and like touch it up with eyeshadow underneath and like above it just to make it a little bit neater and that actually did help as well. See I feel like I've not done too bad of a job and I really do like these. kind of want to get the other set of these now because the other set looks even brighter and that bright orange is honestly gorgeous. So for underneath my eyes I'm going to use the same shadows that I used on the top and I'm going to blend them underneath starting with the purple first and then going to like the orange and yellow. I can never get the blend under my eye looking as good as it should do. I think that's definitely something I need to work on. Of course, it doesn't look as good as all these people on Instagram. I just don't get how people make it look so good because I just can never get it looking right on me. I'm going to use a little bit of the P. Louise Basic Bright in the Shade OTT Orange. I'm just going to put this in at my waterline. Then for the lips, I'm going to go for like a pinky nude. So I'm going to use this Bourjois Velvet Liquid Lipstick thing. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but I'm going to use this anyway. I feel like I always end up regretting my lip choice. I honestly don't even know what other colour to go for, so I'm just going to stick to this. Maybe I should have gone for more of a nude nude, or even a purple. I think a purple would have looked really nice, but I'm just going to stick to this today. I forgot to put on my inner corner highlight, so I've just filmed the whole, like, outro without it. But... I'm putting it on now. <laughs> so this is the finished makeup look. I'm actually a little bit obsessed with my eyes. Not so much my lips because I feel like I've made the wrong choice but my eyes, I am loving them. It could be a little bit neater but I actually don't even think it really matters. I'm actually really impressed with these cake liners. I like them a lot better than what I thought I was gonna. I don't know why I had it in my head that I wasn't gonna like them this much but I actually do really like them. There's literally not one Anastasia product that I've tried now that I haven't liked. I just, I just love everything they do. I've had this liner on my eyes for quite a while now and it's not cracked or anything. It actually looks even better now than when I first applied it. I feel like it's looking better the longer it's on my eyes. I feel like £31 for this is quite expensive but at the same time it has worked really well so I suppose you get what you pay for but yeah I, I think it is a little bit expensive considering they are quite small but I don't know I do like them I would buy another one so yeah I really like these and I really like the look that I've got from using them I really hope you've liked this video let me know what you think down below also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have liked it and I will see you in my next video bye